Okay, so with Russia's invasion of Ukraine, a lot of people have been asking me, how is this going to affect CSGO? Is it going to have any effect on the game where it could affect its players? There is one major area of CSGO that is being affected by this, and it actually might help some people make some profit, which is kind of crazy. Before I jump into that though, only a couple of you guys who watch my videos are actually sub to the channel. So if you do enjoy this video, it would mean a lot if you could smash that sub button since we're so close to 30k subs too. And uh, yeah, with that out of the way though, Basically, the Russian invasion isn't having the biggest effect on CSGO quite yet. It's not really affecting most of the player base. It's not really affecting the game itself, but it's really affecting the market. As I'm sure most of everyone watching this video already knows, major world leaders are imposing massive sanctions on Russia. And because of this, it's causing a lot of their credit card companies and forms of payment to just straight up stop working. This means that any Russian CSGO players or any Russian video game players on the Steam platform are not going to be able to make any purchases whatsoever. Now, because CSGO is a free to play game, like I said, this isn't going to affect the game so much, but it is going to affect the market. Now we're only a little over a week into the invasion so far at the time I'm making this video, and if we take a look at the Steam market, we can already see some effects on price trends. If we take a look at the community market page for CSGO, you guys can see that these items up here at the top are the items that are trending right now. If we take the Operation Riptide case for example here though, and we scroll down towards its price trend, you guys will see right here that just in this last week alone, the price has steadily increased from about 58 cents all the way up to about 64, 65 cents where it is right now. Just like the Operation Breakout case right here, while this trend is a bit more subtle, you guys can see here also in the first week, the price dropped a little bit to about $2.40, but then spiked all the way back up to about $2.48. Obviously, this won't be the same with every single item in CSGO, but for most items, you're going to see a trend just like this. Now, what does this mean for players? Well, obviously, if you're just buying items, if you're just buying cases and keys, for example, in-game to open them, it's going to be a little bit more expensive than normal. But if you're one of my viewers who has any investments in the game, any item investments, I would recommend checking on all the prices of them because you could be making some profit as we speak. It's kind of ironic that you can make profit off of something so bad happening in the world, but ironically, this is just how the market is reacting to what's happening in the world. And in my opinion, if you're in the place, you should take advantage of it. Anyways, though, that's pretty much how CSGO is being affected by the invasion. We're only seeing some price trends change in the market, which is to be expected. And honestly, they're going to be for the better for those of us who have investments, which is pretty cool. With that all said, though, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you did enjoy it, then definitely smash that like button and subscribe if you are new. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace.